Greetings all and welcome everyone to Let's Play Blue Screen the game. Nah, of course not. We're going to play a good old NES game. I played LP a uh, really while ago, the second game of this series. And that was back then my favorite childhood game. This one never happened to play as a kid, but still actually it's a quite likable game. Uh, anyway, promised someone to LP it once uh, once I get to it and well, since I'm working on other projects, I might as well also do something else LP-ish. And this game is Adventure Island 3, yeah, as you may obviously read from the title, duh. Anyways, there's not m much to say. Pretty late in the NES era, made by Hudson Soft. And here we have the, the beautiful map, with all the different potential levels. We have here our item select screen, which is totally empty, of course. Anyways, let's jump right into the action. We are Master Higgins, an island guy who can jump, walk, and duck in the third turn. Uh, emphasis on that because I... That's something that, that I really missed in the second part. You can also see that we have a health uh, time meter up there which you can fill up by eating. So it's pretty much his hungry meter. Here we have our first enemy. Ah! Yeah, really scary, isn't it? They are a little bit, uh, in the second game they looked a little bit less cute. I have to say the, ga the graphics here in general are a little bit cutie-sized. Also, rock. When we trip over it, we lose time. In other words, it makes us hungry. Also, you can he hear that shooting sound. If you hear that, there's a secret egg that you can reveal by jumping. And we can play one of these really awkward mini-games. This is this one is new in the third game. The other, the second game only had these uh these spring mini games, which you all, which is also in the third game. And this surfing is really hard, I have to say. It took me ages to get this fin to get this done because you always tend to slip off the wave. And you're almost drowned. But we get a beautiful reward when we make it perfect, and that is this wonderful little gem. It gives us basically an extra hit, because we only have one currently as Master Higgins. This is a skateboard. You get it if you um, find an item which you already have, which means if I in there was tomahawks and already have tomahawks, so I get a skateboard instead. I know it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it gives us A, an extra hit. But otherwise it's more, an hit. It's more awkward than actually anything else. Anyways, on to the second level. The bottomless pit, which has, I have to say, the second game has a really awkward. Uh, uh, first game has a really stupid soundtrack. Just listen to it. I don't like it in particular when you re uh, compare it to the second game. Here's a little. Yeah, here's a little clip from the second game. You see, it's. It just sounds more like actually in a cave area. It, it just. It just sounds better to me. Also, you can see a little bit the change graphics. We will see some skulls, which actually look like skulls. They look more threatening than in the, in the than in the third game. These are our actual skulls. That one looks like a I don't know, kid show pirate ship, whatever. Anyways, back to the game. Here we have a boomerang. Boomerang is the second, uh, the alternate weapon you can have, which wasn't in the third game. It's actually pretty darn useful. It can kill several enemies, but you only have one shot, sadly, so if you miss, you have to wait until the boomerang returns. But you can also destroy rocks. And there we go, we have a spade. And spade gives us this wonderful little dinosaur body. He has either very bad breath or spits fire. Also, a hidden egg. His special ability is that he can run in lava without getting hurt, which is Darn useful in some stages. Also, his uh, what his uh, shot has his shot has quite a range. I have to say, it's one of my favorite dinosaurs. There are in total, let me count, five. Yeah, uh, boo, spades, heart, diamond. Uh, I don't know how the fourth 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 card type is called in English. Pike. I don't know. And we also have a star dinosaur in this in the third game. But anyways, on to the woods. This is a little fairy which gives us temporal temporal invincibility. Of course not not much, but it's fun. 
Bonk. Also, these are springs. They actually more appear in the bonus levels than anywhere anywhere else. Yeah, this is a star dinosaur. He can do. I won't say he can just perform a role, which looks really awkward and. Yeah, I don't know what what to say. I don't know. It could be really painful for Master Higgins. Also, hidden egg. This is the second type of bonus game. It's the springs. And boy, I can tell you this is really awkward in the third game because you mostly can't really see where you're actually jumping. So it's more actually more more luck than anything else. Or just memorizing the pattern. Which I got pretty easy pretty good down here. Also again, if you could score a perfect on this bonus stage, we could you would get a a crystal at the end, but I missed some fruits, that's why I don't get anything. Except the two di additional dinosaurs I got, of course. Anyway, moving on to the abyss. Oh boy, the abyss. Swimming levels, of course, mandatory in every game. And here we have the diamond dinosaur. He doesn't have any attacks, sadly, but he's a really good swimmer. It makes the swimming levels a little bit less painful. Also, we have weird, weird looking fish. We have uh, squids. Yeah, I would say squids. I don't know. And soon comes up. No, not yet. These are bubbles. These are actually quite gimmicky. If you're only Higgins, you get stuck in, in them. Also, bunny in the bag. Yeah, of course. It doesn't look like a bunny in the bag, but the sprite from the second game looked like a bunny in the bag. Also, we have. Seahorses, which can actually take two hits for some reason. It looks a little bit odd if they get colored pink. At least better than in the second game. There they get colored white and it looks like you. The, there's just a skeleton left or so. Not so much to that. Also, what I totally forgot to mention is that this game doesn't feature a, a random pathway like in the second game. You can see that it's numberized, like next to rear 1-5. In the second game, yeah, just to say, pigs with sunglasses, also emo crabs. In the second game, it, the pathway Master Higgins took was random, so it had, it was actually quite nice. I actually missed that in this game a little bit because it, it gave it quite unique gameplay. I mean, of course, it was irritating when Master Higgins decided to go out of nowhere, but still. Anyways, our next dinosaur, the blue one. Yes, he shoots white stuff out of his, out of his tail. Uh, his special ability is actually to, that he can't slip on ice, which is really useful in this level since there's no ice at all. Also, that was an eggplant. And weird or surprise fish, of course. Not that weird anymore, but still surprising. Uh, where was I? Boy, I have so much to explain and I have barely time to do so. Block. Anyways, moving on to the boss level. And it's in the desolation. I actually like these type of levels mainly because of the soundtrack, because it just sounds well, deserty. Of course. But the levels aren't actually that hard. It has a quite quite high amount of special enemies like these no these falcons are also in other levels but for example these desert runners and scorpions of course they all been cutie sized again sadly also you can you can sink in the uh, in the quicksand that's actually the special ability of this dinosaur he can't sink in uh, can't sink in quicksand which is not that big of a great ability also, kangaroos, because it's so appropriate to find them in the desert. Many people actually really dislike this dinosaur for some odd reason, but I actually find him quite useful. The only problem he has is that he is really awkward to fight bosses with, which I have, which I have to do here. The problem is I can only attack him with rolling, and that's it's just requires good timing, and the problem is, yep, the projectiles. It's just way easier to just spam him with some uh, tomahawks and that's it. And first boss done. They got a little bit more uh, creative later on, but anyways. 
Well, we see us in the next episode when we tackle World 2. Just be gosh without love. Au revoir!